HP uh, speculation? Well, it was great news for the share price today, mm. and it was really on the back of media speculation. There was some media reports in the AFR talking about spinning off or selling off uh, areas like aluminium bauxite, um, as well as nickel, and that, that, that could result in funds of up to $20 billion. So that's a lot of money. We know that BHP has been spinning off some of its less profitable arms. In fact, if we have a look at the last financial year, there was $5 billion worth of announced divestments or actual divestments, which which actually happened and I guess for BHP shareholders the end game is the potential buyback um, which we're looking to be announced at the FY14 results we have a look at what we're, we're forecasting at the moment we're forecasting cash flow of 27 billion dollars if you take into account around about 7 billion dollars worth of dividends and 15 billion dollars worth of cap capital expenditure that leaves surplus cash of about 5 billion dollars most of that is expected to be announced as a buyback over the next couple of years some of that also could go into the major assets, uh, for example, expanding the Pilbara region or into Chile Copper. But some of the information released today, we already know that BHP is really concentrating on the four pillars, iron ore, petroleum being the big ones, and then copper as well as coal. And then also mentioning a potential fifth pillar, potash. Um, so that was quite interesting as well. But it was great news for BHP share price. It was in the red for most of the session, but after that an announcement, it shot up. And by the end of the session, the shares up about 1.7 percent. It was all about the data release and it was a massive day in terms of data. First of all, here domestically we saw rates very much in focus, unchanged, no jaw burning about the Australian dollar and also mm -hmm. likely that we're going to see a period of stability in terms of interest rates. The Aussie dollar reaction was very interesting though. If we have a look at the Aussie dollar and how it reacted to the uh, statement today, you can see we initially saw that big spike up but about an hour later we were seeing the Aussie dollar lower than before that announcement. So we've actually seen a lower Aussie dollar coming out of that announcement and then of course the other part were the numbers out of China we saw the official PMI numbers coming out at midday 50.3 that's in line with the expectations a slight decrease from the previous month which was a read of 50.2 but then 45 minutes later we saw the HSBC print and that came in at 48 so that's a fall from the previous month where we saw a read of 48.5 so uh, we, we had a cold number and a bit of a warm number in terms of those China numbers. I think the market's still expecting to see stimulus out of China and that really helped things like the iron ore price overnight. We saw a huge jump, up by 4%. So Rio Tinto, Fortescue outperforming. In fact, Fortescue was up by 1.1%. Gold was a surprise despite those dovish comments that we saw coming through from Je Jeanette Ye Yellen overnight. We did see gold, uh, the gold sector selling down, down by 3.5%. In fact, stocks like Oceana Gold we're down seven and a half percent. We also saw some selling in what I guess the dogs of the market in some of those media stocks. We know that Tens had a horrible start to 2014 in terms of ratings and we saw that stock down by 7.3 percent. We know that Southern Cross Media also hasn't had a good start to 2014 especially. Um, uh, so that stock down by 7.3 percent. So lots of action around the market but in the end looking pretty flat. We were only down by 0.1 percent but it was a massive massive day. Do you touch? It's a really difficult one. I mean, it is going in the right direction, but it is hard to try and forecast um, rare earth prices. Now, prices have gone in the right direction for the quarter, as have production and sales. In fact, we've seen a pretty big jump in both. Production was up by 47% quarter on quarter, and we've actually seen sales up by 84% quarter on quarter. However, if it wants to get to a cash neutral situation, it needs to be selling uh, 70 uh, 750 tons of um, rare earths per month and at the moment for the quarter we saw sales of 751 tons so really it needs to triple that rate um, at, but we've seen four quarters now where we have seen increasing sales as well as production but that share price performance today absolutely amazing up by seven percent and then by the end of the session flat